everyone, welcome back to Music with Ryan. Thanks for joining me. Today's little lecture lesson, we're going to talk about bass walks. And I want to do a few common chord progressions or common chord movements in one to four, from my one chord to my five, and my one chord to my six chord. And if you're not sure what those mean exactly, we can talk about them a little bit. But I want to go over, yeah, how to go from chord to chord in these very common ways, add a few bass walks along the way, and do it in a couple different keys as well. I want to do at least two keys. I try not to make these lessons too long, so we'll see how far we can get, but for sure a couple different keys. And uh, yeah, if you're not a free member, make sure you sign up over here. Click the button over here, sign up, uh, access my whole free member area, and um, you know get access to these lessons and more, and free tablature and videos and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and just go over a few little things. And uh, what I want to do is I want to do, we'll do the key of G, start with, and so if I'm, the G is my one chord, for those of you who don't know, if I'm in the key of G, G is one, the four is C, the five is D, and the six is E minor, okay? That's um, what the Roman numerals stand for in the key of G, or what the chords are in the key of G. So if I'm gonna go to the uh, one to the four chord, I often will, Walk up. One, two, three, four, one. Three, four, one. Okay. Then I go back to G. Let's see, I'm going to go to my five. One. Two. Okay, now, yeah, it's kind of a little bluegrass country type of strumming. Back to G. Now I'm going to go to the 5. Back to the 1. Okay, so let's just break down what's going on there. Now I got a couple lessons like this in my free member area, um, you know, using the key of G and common chord progressions, and I have a whole rhythm series on this, but I want to review this one because it's very popular, and then we'll transpose it in different keys. So, uh, real quick. And it's in a lot, this particular walk is happening on beats three and four. Okay? One, two, three, four. One, two. Open A, second fret A, and then into my C. That first one right there, that's a C note, that downbeat. And then I go back to G. And then this one, I'm gonna do a whole measure's worth of a walk here. I'm gonna go one, Start here in the low E, then second fret, third fret, fourth fret. You can catch that one with your pinky or your or slide up with your third finger, okay? One, two, three, four. Now you pluck that open D, that's the downbeat of the five chord. Okay, so that one again. One. change up the rhythm again. I'm just making some of these just nice and straight ahead so you can get an idea of where to start. Of course, there's several different rhythmic permutations we can make of this, of these exact same walks. You know, we can make the timing all different um, and a lot of these, add notes, take out notes. But for now, we're just going to do kind of like right on the downbeat quarter notes um, to give you, you know, a little foundation to work from. There was my one to four and my one to five. And I kind of put it all together in a, in a common chord progression, but you can do these in any kind of song that goes from G to C or G to D. It doesn't have to be this example um, any time you go, but you just got to time it right. You know what I mean? So you got to kind of learn how to cut and paste a little bit and you need to learn, you know, you just got to trial and error. So one more time in the key of G. Real quick, I want to do one to six 
and oftentimes I go down to the six. So if I'm going from G in the key of G, E minor is the six I got lowercase, that means it's minor, the uppercase means they're major, minor here. did is I third fret low E, second fret low E, and then open E. And that's the downbeat of the E minor. Let me go to C. Go to D. A little something extra there. But so that one down to the six. A, C, one, two, three, four, open D. Okay, so cool. There is a few ways we can go from these chords G to C, G to D, and then I did G to E minor, the E minor to C, which is the six to the four, and then the four to the five. Okay. So we can walk up and down to all these different chords. So now let's try it in a different key. Let's transpose it a little bit. And uh, let's do, let's do, 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 let's do the key of D. Okay, let's do the key of D. So now again, D is my one, G is my four, A is my five, and my six is B minor. Okay, one, four, five, six. B minor is the six of D. And back to one. All right. So if you're not familiar with that, that's all right. But I strongly suggest starting to wrap your head around it. It's not as hard as it may seem, but it's kind of for a different lesson for now. So we're gonna go one to four, one to the G, and I'm gonna do kind of the same timing that I did um, with the key of G. So one, two, three, four, one, two, Walk down here. One, two. So now I'm gonna go D down to A. Okay. Um, we're always going from G up to D, but there's not really kind of room in this in this progression to go up to A, so to speak. So. So what's going on there? One, two, three, four, one, two. Open E. 2nd fret E, and then 3rd fret E. This is the downbeat of the G chord. Then we go back to D. Let's do this one. Go to the A7. A or A7, it's either way is fine, but I went open D, 3rd fret A, 2nd fret A, 1st fret A, and then open A, is the downbeat of the A chord, the five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. So I'll do that all that one more time real slow. So we're D, again for a measure and a half, two, Open E, 2nd fret E, 3rd fret E. Back to D chord. Open D, 3rd fret A, 2nd fret, 1st fret, open A. Okay. So, now let's do D down to B minor. We could do D down to B minor or up to B minor in this case. Either way is going to work because of the way that everything sits. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or we could do one.
both of them are going to sound just fine. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna teach that one right there. So again, again, it's a measure and a half of the D. One, two, three, four, one, two. I'm gonna go open D, fourth fret D. I'm sorry, fourth fret A, and then B minor. And I'm gonna pluck this second fret note on the A. That's the down B to B minor. That's a B note. Cool is I can also go into B minor, which I like doing a lot too. One, two, three, four, one, two. Open A, first fret A, and then second fret A is the down beat of the B minor. Okay, a little extra something there too. So let's re let's review down to the B minor. Whoop, sorry, sorry. <laughs> one, two. Hitting that open D to start that walk, then fourth fret A. Now, if I want to go up to the B minor, two, three, four, one, two, open A, first fret A, second fret A. Second fret A, open A to the G. Chromatic thing, third fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, A. Open A string on the down B to the A chord. something to chew on, some of that stuff, you know, I'm not going to cover all, every single little thing, but uh, I just want to give you a little snippet, something to, you know, think about, um, you know, kind of chew on and try to use it in other songs because those are really common chord progressions, right? All that stuff I was just doing, I was kind of making up that D one on the fly because, again, I'm just using my one, my four, my five, and my six chords, and you can make up a million different tunes, so experiment with it try it in other songs that you know like oh i always go from d to b minor maybe i should try to enter a walk there you know what i mean okay so yeah that's it a few bass walks just a few little snippets ideas if you like what you see again sign up for the free membership here you can download all kinds of free video and tabs and sheet music and all that stuff and i come out with try to come out with one of these lecture lessons once a week and uh yeah so check it out until next time thanks for watching